Today we're talking about The Gray Man, Netflix's newest blockbuster movie directed by the Russo brothers and starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. Two assassins play a game of cat and mouse after an encrypted drive is leaked, threatening the career of a powerful CIA official. I'm positive the main reason why this movie was hyped up on Netflix is because it stars Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, two very popular actors, and that's probably also the reason why so many people saw it and now it's getting a sequel. <sighs> Do we really need a sequel to The Gray Man? I didn't hate this movie, though I can't help myself but think of this as another generic blockbuster action Netflix movie with an A-list cast. Because let's face it, The Gray Man doesn't have a good plot or good characters. It tricks you into thinking this is a good movie because it has some of your favorite actors in it. There's nothing else to The Gray Man other than the fact that it has A-listers, just like Red Notice. It, it's not a good movie, nor is Red Notice. Neither of these movies take a brain cell to watch. Yeah, they have some entertaining sequences, but in the grand scheme of things, I much rather watch a far superior intelligent movie over either of these. Now, my favorite aspect of The Gray Man is Chris Evans, because the guy's character is so ridiculous. He is the complete opposite of Captain America, Steve Rogers, Take everything you know about Steve Rogers and throw it out the window because Chris Evans plays the complete opposite character here and I ate it up. In fact, I always enjoy myself when Chris Evans plays a villain. Look at Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and Knives Out. He's so entertaining to watch. So when Chris Evans is on the screen, the movie is popcorn fun. I watch it and laugh. I have a good time. After that, though, um... Yeah, it has some action sequences that are watchable. I mean, this is not the worst Netflix movie, not even close. There are some that are so bad they did not even need to be released in the first place. I'm not saying The Gray Man is an awful movie. It's just so generic, and the action sequences are so uninspired. It does everything it has to do in order to be an okay movie, but nothing more than that. It takes absolutely no risks. There's spies, betrayals, over-the-top action sequences, weak characters, and cringeworthy dialogue. There's nothing else more I can say to describe The Gray Man. That sums up the movie as a whole. And as much as I like Chris Evans' performance in the movie, it's sad that they give him nothing to do other than yell at a bunch of people and have a couple of fights. But in terms of characterization, there is nothing there. We barely know anything about his character, nor do we know much about Ryan Gosling's character, Six, who could have had a really interesting backstory, and it's only developed to a surface level degree. I've also never been a fan of movies that overuse CGI. No wonder why I've fallen out of love with the MCU. I hate studios that use CGI as a crutch. They look no further than to use CGI during their action sequences. Why not use practical effects? I love Christopher Nolan movies and the Mission Impossible movies and the Bond films because most of them use practical effects and they look terrific. But this movie couldn't be bothered to use practical effects during the action sequences. It's CGI galore. And I can't forget to mention that it's too long of a movie. Why is it over two hours? It feels repetitive. The same things keep happening. There's betrayal after betrayal. I feel like the movie could have ended 20 minutes earlier. And because of that, it gets more convoluted than needed. Again, The Gray Man isn't a terrible film. It's just really average to the point where I got tired of watching it after the first 30 minutes. I knew exactly where it was going. Yeah, I'll mention again that Chris Evans was so much fun to watch. He was one of the few bright spots in The Gray Man. I'm also glad that I didn't have to drive to the theater to watch this one. I could just watch it on Netflix and waste two hours of my life. Whatever. But compared to some of the best action movies, The Gray Man comes up short big time. And I am giving The Gray Man a 50%.
Okay, so what are you guys' thoughts on The Gray Man? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it deserves a sequel? I definitely don't, but let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are. And of course, as always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.